Hi everybody, we came with another video for you. In this video, we are going to discuss about the conflict between Israel and Palestine. In the video, we will discuss the geographical location of the two states, Israel and Palestine. Along with that, we will also discuss what is going on there at present, the historical background behind the conflict between Israel and Palestine, and also we will discuss the solutions of the conflict. Let us start. See here in the map you can see Israel is surrounded by Lebanon in the north, Syria and Jordan in the east, Egypt in the southwest and Mediterranean Sea, Mediterranean Sea in the west. You can see the green mark here, the green mark, the green, the green patches in the western side of uh, uh, Israel. That part experiences Mediterranean type of climate whereas the southern part is the desert region. Mediterranean climate means it receives rainfall during winter season and the summer is usually long and very harsh. So this is Israel. Israel is an Asian country, belongs to Asia and surrounded with Lebanon, Syria, Jordan, Egypt and Mediterranean Sea in the west. See here, we will talk about Palestine. The green mark you can see here, the green mark, this one, okay, along the crosser, okay. So, this area is known as West Bank area and this area is known as Gaza Strip, okay. This West Bank and Gaza Strip region, West Bank region and Gaza Strip region together belongs to Palestine, okay. This, uh, these two parts, uh, th these two territories are the part of Arab territory. So, this one is Palestine and the rest of Israel okay you can also mark here a dotted line here okay a dotted line this dotted line represents the boundary between Jordan and Israel and the Jordan river flows along this boundary Jordan river separates Jordan from that of Israel that means it is the natural boundary between Jordan and Israel clear Jordan river and Jordan river falls to Dead Sea. This one is Dead Sea. Clear? Next, you can see here the comparison of uh, uh, two states, Israel and Palestine, at the time of uh, formation and after 1967. See here the yellow part at the time of formation. The yellow part was the Arab land that is uh, belonged to that was belonged to Palestine, and this light blue part represented Israel. Jews part. Later, after 1967 war, what happened? Israel occupied many territories in the north as well as in the western part near Gaza Strip region and in this way what happened? The map has been changed as shown in the figure. Now let us discuss what is going on in, in the Gaza Strip. Okay, so uh, the historical perspective we will discuss later. First, let us focus on what is happening at present. In 1967, Israel occupied Jerusalem. And in the same year, what happened? Israel has ordered the Palestinians living in the territory of Israel to leave Jerusalem. And that was opposed by the Palestinians and the case was referred to the Israel Court of Law. In 2021 what happened, the Central Court of East Jerusalem upheld the eviction order of 1967. On 7th May 2021, Israel allowed the Palestinians to pray, to offer prayer in Al-Aqsa Mosque in East Jerusalem. The Palestinians protested against the Central Court of East Jerusalem's uh, verdict regarding the eviction order of 1967. What happened on the same day, on 7th May 19, uh, on, on 7th May 2021, the Israel police clashed with the protesters. The Zionist nationalists had planned a march to commemorate Israel's capture of the eastern half of Jerusalem in 1967. But before that, the Israel armed forces stormed Al-Aqsa Mosque in East Jerusalem, leaving more than 300 Palestinians injured. 
Following the incidents, Hamas launched dozens of rockets on Israel. But Israel's Iron Dome saved Israel from the attack. Israel retaliated with the airstrike, killing 130 Palestinians, including children. Israel's Supreme Court following the incident stayed the eviction order of 1967. Let us now discuss about the history of the conflict between Israel and Palestine. To start with, let me tell you that in 1948 Israel was established. The whole reason, uh, that means the reason comprising the, uh, Israel and Palestine, comprises of Arab Muslims, Bedouins, Samaritans, Jews, etc. Mostly Arab Muslims. Then second population is uh, Jews. Let me tell you that if you if, if are going to uh, start the story, then we should start it from the Ottoman Empire. Ottoman Empire is a Turkish Empire. Before World War I, the whole region was uh, under the occupation of the Ottoman Empire. But in 1917, during the First World War, what happened? The British defeated the Turks and occupied the region. It passed to British occupation in 1917. And the British, in, in the same year, realized that the Jews should have their own homeland. So, in Balfour Declaration, the British raised their voice for the Jews' homeland. In 1919, what happened is the World War ended. Versailles Peace Agreement was signed, where the British mandated for the formation of Palestine and Transjordan. The area in the east of Jordan River will be Transjordan and in the west of uh, Jordan River will be Palestine. So, Jordan River is the border of Transjordan in Palestine. Between 1992, between 1922 to 1945, the whole region was under British control. The region comprising mainly Arab Muslims, which constituted 80% of the total population, and Jews 20%. The Jews were concentrated in the north and western part of the region only. So, uh, mainly we can say that this area is uh, uh, mainly Arab land. Mainly Arabs were living there. In 1945, what happened? Second World War was ended and the whole region was passed to the United Nations control. Let me tell you that on 24th October 1945, United Nations organization was formed and that region was passed to United Nations control. In 1947, what happened? The United Nations has formed a committee, a special committee on Palestine that came to be known as UNSCOP, stands for United Nations Special Committee on Palestine. In the year 1947, it was formed. And the United Nations, through the committee, has proposed for a solution to the conflict. According to the United Nations, a Arab land should be formed and a Jews land should be formed and the residual parts should be controlled by residual and conflict parts should be controlled by the United Nations. On the basis of that what happened, 44% of the territory was given for the Arab land with 67% of the population which came to be known as Palestine whereas 56% of the territory was given to the Jews land which constituted 33% of the population. The rest of the territory, including Jerusalem, remained under the United Nations control. So here what happened? So you, you can clearly see here, uh, for 67% of the population, only 44% of the territory was given and for 33% of the population, 56% of the territory was given. So this was the reason of discontentment between Palestinians and Israel. Palestinians actually uh, never recognized Israel as a country. Palestinians didn't recognize Israel's existence at all. What happened in the following year in 1948, Israel was established, but the Palestinians discarded the agreement. What happened? Following this, thousands of Palestinians were forced off uh, the land. They were uh, forced uh, to evict their land. And what happened? Palestinians, Arab neighbors, following this, what happened? Because of this, the Arab neighbors of Palestine, as I already told you, uh, Syria, Saudi Arabia, Lebanon, Iraq, Egypt, they are Arab countries. So they sided with the 
uh, they aligned with Palestine and declared a war against Israel. In the war, Israel owned and captured a large portion of the land. Okay, so what happened? A part of uh, Gaza Strip uh, and in the northern part, some parts were acquired by uh, acquired by the Israelis. In 1950, a refugee crisis uh, emerged in the region because seven lakh fifty thousand people, Palestinians particularly, were forced off their land. The Arab countries like Jordan, Lebanon, Syria, they granted refugee to uh, those people. Refugee camps were filled uh, in, in this region. Where Jordan, uh, according to the 2010 data, Jordan became uh, the country with the highest num number of Palestinian refugees uh, with uh, 330,000 of uh, Palestinian refugees. So what happened? Uh, Jordan uh, um, also tried to provide them uh, citizenship, Jordan citizenship to the Palestinian refugees. In 1967 what happened? Israel, Jordan, sorry, Syria, Jordan and Egypt, they together declared a war against Israel. This time also Israel owned with the help of United Kingdom and United States of America. And what happened? Subsequently, Israel occupied a large portion of land from Egypt, Syria and Jordan. Let me tell you that the Sinai Peninsula and the Gaza Strip uh, were acquired from Egypt. The Golan Heights uh, were uh, occupied from Syria and West Bank region from Jordan. With this what happened, Jerusalem which was till now under the control of United Nations uh, was uh, completely transferred, completely uh, came under the control of uh, Israel. In October 6, 1973, what happened? Egypt and Syria again waged war against Israel. In 1977, with the mediation of US President uh, Jimmy Carter, what happened? Israel President Menachem Begin and Egyptian President Anwar Sadat, they met at Camp David. Maryland. That famous agreement signed between uh, Israel President Menachem Begin and Egyptian President Anwar Sadat uh, with the mediation of uh, US President Jimmy Carter came to be known as Camp David Accord, Camp David Accord which was signed in 1977. The outcome of the accord is that Egypt agreed to recognize the state of Israel officially and not to invade uh, Israel again. And Israel also agreed to return the Sinai Peninsula to Egypt. Egypt agreed that it will recognize Israel as a country officially. And Israel agreed to return Sinai Peninsula to Egypt, which it returned in 1982. In 1980, Jerusalem law was passed by Israel. The Greater Jerusalem was Israel territory and that Jerusalem was the eternal capital of the state of Israel. This was the main uh, uh, line of the Jerusalem law. Let me tell you that before this, Tel Aviv was the capital of uh, Israel. But in 1900, 1980, according to Jerusalem law, what happened? The Greater Jerusalem became the capital uh, of the state of uh, Israel. Now the Palestinians were left with only the regions of the Gaza Strip and the West Bank, which is controlled by the Israel government and is subjected to Israel's national jurisdiction. So what happened? The, people, the Palestinian Authority was established. Uh, let me tell you that uh, here, here Palestine Authority, we need to note it down. Okay, The Palestine, uh, Palestine Authority was established between the Palestine, uh, Palestine Liberation Organization and the Israel government to administer internal security and civil matters. So let me tell you that PA and PLO are two different bodies. Whereas PA was established by um, Israel government to negotiate to liaison between PLO and Israel government. Whereas PLO is an internationally recognized body. Palestinian, Palestine Liberation Organization is an internationally recognized body. Whereas PA is not an internationally recognized body. Okay. So PA is for only for liaisoning between Israel government and PLO. So on what matters it will liaison on, in, on the matters of internal security and civil matters and there are two main political parties within uh, the Palestine Liberation Organization they are Hamas and Fatah 
Fatah has a majority in West Bank uh, region. Fatah has uh, uh, a stronghold in the West Bank region, whereas Hamas has stronghold in the Gaza Strip region. Let me tell you here that Hamas has been declared as a terrorist organization by the by Israel. If we we'll talk about the stand of India, then India formally recognized Israel on September 17, 1950, two years after it was formed. But if we we'll talk about the diplomatic ties of Israel and India, then the diplomatic ties was established as late as in 1992. In 1988, India became one among those first countries to recognize Palestine as a state. And in 1996, India opened its representative office in Gaza, later which was transferred to Ramallah. It was transferred to Ramallah in 2003. Let us now throw some light on that Iron Dome air defense system, which has prevented the rockets that are fired from uh, fired by Hamas on Israel to fall on the Israel soil iron dome air defense system it is an all weather multi mission defense system and it can be deployed over land sea and can engage multiple targets simultaneously let me tell you that this air defense system is one of the most advanced air de defense systems in the world it can intercept incoming rockets, artilleries, motors and precision guided munition, munitions like very short range air defense systems as well as aircrafts, helicopters and unmanned aerial vehicles over a short range of up to 70 kilometers. So here you uh, need to note it down that it is a short range air defense system who has a range up to which has a range up to 70 kilometers so sometimes uh, you may face a question why such kind of uh, uh, air defense system is not opted by india not deployed by india in its territory so let me tell you that india is a vast territory whereas in in comparison to israel in israel is a small country so india requires long range air defense systems this is the reason why india opted for s400 uh, over uh, this iron dome air defense system uh, iron dome uh, air defense system is a short range air defense system which has a range up to 70 kilometers this iron dome battery consists of three parts actually a, a battle management control unit main unit and detection and tracking radar unit which can detect uh, the missiles incoming missiles and aircrafts and a firing unit of three vertical launches it has three vertical launchers. You can see your three vertical launchers. Each launcher having 20 missiles. Iron Dome is manufactured by Rafale Advanced Defense System. This is a uh, Israel company. Okay, Rafale Advanced Defense Systems Limited, and the radar system was developed by Alta. Okay, so uh, Israel is self-sufficient in manufacturing this Iron Dome air defense system but it is costly one. It has been in service with Israel Air Force since 2011. Let me tell you that there is a war between Israel and Lebanon in 2006. In that war what happened? Hundreds of rockets were fired by Lebanon on Israel and 44 uh, Israel citizens were killed whereas 250,000 Israels were evacuated uh, in, in 2006. Following that what happened, Israel has realized the importance of an iron dome like air defense system. So it has ordered for the uh, research and development of iron dome air defense system in 2007 only. But it was deployed uh, in Israel as late as in 2011. 2011. Since then it has been deployed in uh, Israel. The dome can, the, the most important feature of this dome is that it can identify the anticipated point of impact of the threatening rocket. Anticipated uh, point of impact means what? Where it is going to fall and how much damage it will cause. So in this way what happens? What happens you know? It unnecessarily do not intercept all missiles or all incoming uh, rockets because each missile each missile in the in the uh, launcher that that is very costly and uh, uh, so so in this way what happens it uh, uh, 
uh, saves a lot of money. What is the solution to the conflict? So UN has proposed two solutions for this. Solution one that is one state solution uh, according to uh, this proposal a fully democratic state of Israel will be formed with the integration of uh, all people all uh, regions into one state only that is the state of Israel but it was opposed by Palestinians Palestinians because Palestinians uh, uh, do not recognize the existence of uh, Israel or a Jew state in the region the second one is that uh, two state solution according to the two state solution Palestinians would have their uh, nation state uh, taking Gaza Strip and the West Bank region and the rest of former Palestine uh, would, be, would be included in the Jewish state of Israel this was uh, internationally recognized by many countries including United Nations organization but this was also discarded by the Palestinians because Palestinians do not believe in the existence of a Jewish state in that region okay so this is all for today and uh, we, will so, uh, we, will, we will soon come with another video with uh, uh, some uh, important information for you so please like subscribe and uh, uh, share our uh, videos on YouTube stay tuned to us thank you